Oops. Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and uh, sorry about the last tutorial. We left out a bit abruptly because I was running out of time. But I'm just going to explain it one more time. You know what we did over here, obviously. I hope you took a piece of paper and did it. Anyway, let's continue. So now, um, in this for loop, we have the value of the placement index, where we need the, the value of the index of where we will put the element in the bucket. Okay, if you want a graphical representation of the radix sort, I think you can check out some other videos on YouTube. There are probably a lot of people who teach this graphically instead of like just text and code and whatever. So, um, yeah, uh, so what do we do? How do we put it in the matrix? Basically, the buckets are the matrix, okay? And it's not like a vertical bucket. It's obviously a horizontal bucket, but v v v vertical buckets are a bit too hard to make. So and I, I chose the horizontal buckets to be more soothing and relaxing. So how do you put it in the bucket? We go int. Oh, sorry, not int. How can it be int? Obviously, matrix. Um, matrix placement index, and uh, obviously the placement index is the num bucket number that is from top to bottom. The number, th that that number bucket, and this will be the horizontal. And right now our horizontal is obviously the bucket counter. So bucket counter placement index uh, which is equal to what obviously to sort array to sort array of i huh don't put uh, the bucket placement index over here this is actually the to sort array and then we are going to increment this value because in, in the next if if we get the same value of the placement index again we want the bucket counter to be bigger this time right next time exactly okay so let us continue um, okay, I just uh, copied and pasted of some amount of code over here. Uh, what this is is basically um, the printing of the matrix. I just wanted to, you know, print the matrix to show you what exactly happens. It's, it's not important. It's not nothing related to the program or how it works. It's just, it just prints and shows you how the program actually works internally. You, you don't need to know this. If you want to know this, pause the video, look at it, and whatever. Um, so let, let us just uh, go forward with this uh, whole thing. So now what we're going to do is we have the matrix. We have everything about the matrix. Now we're just going to fill the two sort array with that matrix values. Okay, so um, now we just have to put the the values which we have the matrix in the array and then print the array. Okay, so for doing that, we do int or index equal to zero. <laughs> int were index equal to zero, and um, then you have four and i equal to zero, i less than max, and um, I plus plus because we need uh, to execute this amount of code 10 times because the array has 10 elements. Uh, sorry, I'm just assuming that max is equal to 10. If you have 30, then you know you know what the, you know what it is. You know the drill. Okay, so um, this is it. Then we have um, a while loop. So we have if while that is while if whatever while um, we don't have a if loop. We have a while loop. Re remember that this is not a if loop. This is a while loop. So while matrix of were index, oh, I is capital, were index, hor index, hor index is equal to equal to infinity, then we will increment, okay, we'll increment the um, were index, were index, plus plus, and the hor index will be set to zero, so hor index will be set to zero. So, um, why do we do this? Because you know the vertical index is basically um, going to be ex you know incrementing the buckets, but the hor index is going to be incrementing the number of elements in that bucket. So uh, when you switch to a new bucket, you need the hor index to be zero because that's going to be the stack inside there. Um, so that's particularly important. So over here we're going to do two sort array of i obviously because i is going from zero to ten, nine okay, less than ten will be equal to matrix of uh, this basic this over here copy and paste it so yeah and then you go hor index plus plus because then we need to go to the next element in the bucket so, and this will be always continued so you know we don't have to worry about anything getting messed up <sighs> hopefully then um, I just have some amount of code which I want to put in here because I don't want to type out this code basically because it's just printing stuff it's printing the array so you know it's not a big deal it's not related to any of the components, um, so this one. Um, so this is the. So what we're going to do now is the biggest 
and the most important thing in the entire algorithm. And you will laugh at me for you know telling, thinking, that, oh, Quincy, this is not really important. You can do it anytime, but uh, but it is important because I'm going to copy this part over here, whatever. Um, guess what it is, and I'm going to put it right in over here. And if you guess that this is the resetting part, you are true. This is actually resetting the entire page. So how does this work? See, bucket counter i is equal to zero and matrix is infinity. Now, why do you need this? Because every time you make a new round over here, you need to be uh, zero. You know, you need the infinity to be infinity in the matrices and the bucket counter to be zero because you're going to execute this entire code again. So you need that. So if you think that you can do it without this amount of code, you are so wrong. Uh, I have, uh, you know, this by experience, I'm telling you, without this code, this thing is very hard. Uh, so you know, just do it, and you know, you'll be very happy. And trust me. So let's just execute this and see if it runs. I hope it runs. Um, and yeah, it runs perfectly. And um, yeah, let's just sh show you the stacks. Okay, so this is the bucket. This is one bucket stack, and the first number is nine. So where does nine go? Nine goes over here. <coughs> fifty-five. Where does fifty-five go? In the first loop. Sorry. <coughs> 55 ends with the 5, so 55 goes over here. In the second one, it ends with 3. 3 goes over here. In the third one, 0, 1, 2, 3. 29, 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29. And similarly, the entire ones. In the n and then you put these numbers as uh, 72 first, 3 second, then you have 9 and 9, so nothing put, well, comes over here. Then you have 55, 15, 95, 47, similarly, this whole thing. Then you have, um, next, you have this. So then we check about this array. Now three uh, seventy two will ha has a second number of seven, so it goes seven over here. Seventy two. This one has three, but the f that there is no um, number before it. That digit before three, so it has a it is considered as zero. So we have zero over here. So it's in the first. So similarly, all those things happen. Just look at the stack once you understand. And this is our printed result. So you know that is radix sort for you guys. If you don't understand this, watch it again because I am. So stumped about this algorithm, it's very fast. Look, uh, the whole thing is sorted in two passes. These are the passes. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Anyway, uh, I, I thank you for watching this tutorial. To be patient, I'll tell you one thing. Spend a good two hours with Radix Sort, and trust me, you will never forget this algorithm again. I have the code in the description. Uh, the code is always going to be in the description. The part, the links to the parts are also in the description. Also, um, so you know. I would appreciate it if you share, like, and subscribe because it encourages me to make more tutorials. It encourages me to be a good person. And uh, yeah, I would very highly recommend that you do it. And uh, I know it's not a lot of fun to, you know, like, listen to me. I Trust me, it's not. It's, But trust me, it is fun to make these tutorials because I like them. So thanks for watching. Uh, I, I appreciate your support. If you do support. If you don't, yeah, so you're a good person, whatever. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.